What's happening guys, I do welcome to my channel, it's your boy and I'm back again, hopefully you guys are having a marvellous Sunday, it's beautiful outside, it's sunny, besides the storm on Friday. So guys, last week I did a video on the unboxing of the ladies Arctic Army jacket and somebody requested that can you redo your other Arctic Army puffer jacket and this time around I've even lost weight so I can wear this very comfortable. I've, I've obviously had some breakfast so I won't be able to, you know, um, definitely like zip it all the way up but with this jacket um just bear in mind if you wear a large and you buy like an extra large it is in italian sizing so it is a little bit snug and i think it's just because they do put like a lot of down in the jacket so even though it looks bigger but when you wear it you find it's a little bit snug as well so what i do like about this brand arctic army Boom. So, what I do like about this brand, Arctic Army, is it's got this kind of bin bag, shiny, nylon material, but it definitely doesn't feel like a bin bag material. It is very premium. It's a little bit creased, as you guys know. I do put my expensive jackets in the plastic bags. Maybe I should have got a bigger size, but first things first, what you're going to see is the branding on the hoodie there, with obviously the moth over there, then the radius outside which comes in or oh, circumference which comes in that orange and the a as well in the middle it feels puffy there's a lot of down this is even better than canada goose I, I don't care come at me i think the only brand when it comes to puffer jackets let me just go ahead and say this this is probably as good as montclair if not even better i don't care come at me if you want to but as you guys can see so on the left sleeve there you've got the branding same thing again, you've got the orange circle with the outside in that lovely orange color, which makes it pop as well. Then you've got just these puffy sections. You know, as you guys can see, these are larger than life. I mean, look at the fit itself. It looks fantastic. You cannot tell me that Montclair is as good as this brand. And what I like about this brand is it's kind of boutique and it's a niche, not everyone knows it. It's not been rinsed out like Montclair. You know, when you see someone that wears Montclair, you don't, you don't really, back to your eyelid but when you, when you see somebody wearing this i think this and macaj do have that exclusivity and i do feel that paradox as a brand compared to these is i think getting left behind just because i think they're just stuck in their ways so i don't know but yeah with this they've gone for that blingy shiny nylon look it's a powerful jacket it's bigger than life so i'm going to wear this jacket for you guys to see <clears throat> as i said i will not zip this jacket up And as you guys can see there, you've got this lovely thick padding. Look how thick that is, that is very thick. And you've got this nice branding as well, which says Arctic Army, just along the zip there. On the inside, you've also got the A, which comes in those black circles. You've got the inside pocket there, you can put your phone, whatever the case is. And also when it comes to designer jackets, you tend to find that they always have this extra warm piece which covers like your wrist over there which i do like because you can cover that as well then you can take the hoodie off if you want to it does come off as you guys can see like so then that's the branding itself as well i'll turn around so you guys can see as i move back and as you guys can see it's just a genuinely nice comfortable jacket as i said i'm not gonna zip it up because you know i actually lose just a bit more weight for me to fit in this because i do wear like a large when it comes to north face jackets but with this even though it's an extra large it is italian sizing a lot of italian men are quite narrow in stature what do you guys think what kind of brands are you looking to buy purchase so with this jacket it will set you back between i'll probably say 550 pounds up us to maybe 650 which is a lot cheaper than a Canada Goose Puffer jacket which will either cost you in the region of probably 850 when you look at Montclair if you're looking at this kind of type of jacket you're looking at, looking at probably spending a, I think a thousand two hundred pounds Burberry as well do a nice jacket which I think it's um it's got the tartan but with that it's a bit different you can't really compare it because it's got more of a harder type of you know material which is durable whereas I think um if you look at other brands which make similar jackets, you know, this 
you get more value for your money. Another good brand as well, which I'll put you on, guys, is called Woodpecker. They're a very good brand. They make stuff which is very different as well. So there's other different brands out there. You don't have to go for Montclair. You don't have to go for Canada Goose. You can still go for different brands such as Arctic Army, Makaj, um, did I say Woodpecker? Yeah, Woodpecker. Um, even like Power Jump as well. They make some very nice puffer jackets as well. Obviously, Pyrex, you guys know I do love Pyrex. They do make some nice, you know, puffy black jackets. So there's other different brands in that spectrum of price, which is between at least £450 upwards to, you know, say 850 So yeah, that's just what I think, man. This is a very nice jacket. So if you guys want to see more of this kind of style of videos, let me know, guys. I've got quite a few jackets. I think what I might do, in fact, is I might do like the higher spectrum price of jackets versus the budget kind of spectrum jackets. And nowadays, when you say budget, really, is it really budget? Because a jacket like this, this is a, a typical North Face, you know, uni student uniform. As I fix this up, do you know what I mean? So this is a, a Napsa 700 as well, as you guys can see. This is even like a rare, rare one as well, which I bought from them like four years ago. This will not set you back 350, whereas I spent 240 pounds. So when you look at the price point, I think now it makes more sense for you to go up and spend a little bit more because you're getting better quality compared to this one where the down is just not as, I mean, when you compare these two next to each other, just in terms of the puffiness and everything else, you can tell. Look how thin that is. You know? So, you can tell. So, I'll do a video for that. Let me know, guys. Comment down below if you want to see that budget versus designer video. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Have a nice day. Adios, amigos.